Okay, so let me hope you are still doing well. And this is Munya Scripts from Munya Scripts Lifestyle and Gary Films Production. In the previous video, we happened to look at what should be included on a business card. So after having understood that, then we are going to be looking at outsourcing some stuff because like how can we get inspired as graphics designers, as a person who is looking at designing a business card or designing a flyer, designing a CD cover, how could you source out like information besides information, source out samples that you would need to look at and you get inspired? First of all, we have Google. Okay, before you look at any app, because with some of the apps are rejected in some countries, I may say use Facebook groups and like here in Uganda, someone needs a VPN, what, what, to like get to Facebook. So rather use Google. So if I happen to use Google and I put in uh, business, business cards, okay, so the moment I like uh, click on that, Okay, so are you saying we have a number of business cards that have showed up eventually by just a mere click of business cards? Then after doing that, the other thing that I would look at doing maybe I would come here and click on view more. So the moment you click on view more, you can see a lot of stuff. So I would even advise you as a business, as like a graphics designer, there are softwares that you need to be on your computer. One of them is, um, no matter wh which software you are using, you need to have Microsoft Word on your computer to avoid mistakes. Because with one mistake, it can cost you thousands. Because with one mistake, someone can say, on my name, you never... Like, on my name, you messed out and forgot, like, here, you maybe you had to type James. Then you typed gems with a Z, okay? So, like, maybe you were writing about a certain company, maybe business cards, then you miss out with S, so you forget one of the S's. Because with this designing software, they can't show you that you are missing a later, or you are missing this, okay? So, what I wanted to show you here is there are different samples here of business cards that you may look at and get inspired or create something like that. Are you seeing? So I clicked in this image, then I got this. So we are going to be trying out several business cards here and you get to understand how you could create them, how you would use uh, gradients and all that stuff. Then when you look at this, me see i wanted to increase it but let us look at these icons these there are icons like this phone there's also this uh envelope there's also this of the world okay so you can create them manually or you can use the other what the other some the other like uh cre already created uh stuff that is out there those are like um icons already created icons there are some platforms where you can get those free icons i'm going to be showing you all of that then we are going to be starting with the manual way so now after looking out let me say this is my sample that i would want to use so i right click on it then when i right click on it i like say so it cannot save because it is giving me a web a web what a web file so if I click on this here, or you can go here in your search whatever, in your search box, then you click snip, snip it. So this is the app I'm using. So once you click in it and open it, it opens up like this. Then I click new. So the moment I click new, it basically means I can just do this. Then I get it. So after that, I click save and then I save it. It is saved on the desktop fonts. Then like on my desktop, I have a folder that I call the fonts. So then I call it um, maybe B. Sinense card sample one. So I save. Okay. So after that, I can minimize it, then look for another sample. 
this we may not create directly what we are like sampling what we are like downloading but i'm trying to show you how the different steps you can go to see that you get you outsource information that you may need to use or the different steps that you may need to undergo in order to come up with a design that is okay fine okay so let us try okay so we have this one remember i told you with these videos you are going to be learning from scratch even if you have never used any editing software or graphics designing software when you complete this playlist the fact i would say is you'll be able to come up with a design you'll be able to like design and people f pay you for designing maybe a business card maybe a poster maybe a flyer anything that we happen to look at even this one so at most times it depends on your internet okay then the browser you are using basically so if we happen to get this so if i go here and open this in a new tab and there are some platforms that basically can offer this for free let me first ignore them because if i show you those platforms you won't be able to like learn but what you would have maybe learned first is understanding how you can do it manually then after understanding how you can do it manually then we we'll look at maybe using templates using you and un you understand using templates using downloads like that so if we go back to our sp uh, p spinning tool so we get it and draw on this one so after getting it we come here and click on save so um so we name this tool okay basically there are some business cards that can only be designed in photoshop there are some that can only be designed in illustrator so depending it depends on the design how it looks like and most of the time that determines where you are going to be designing it where from okay so i haven't got any of them that like directly shows me or directly gives me how to download with what so why are we downloading these images to source our inspiration like keeping time i'm going to show you we can also design ours without copying this because with a designer you should be able to like to come up with sketches of what you basically need we can also get because i want us to try several of them i want us to try curved ones we would have tried this one but it is a little bit complicated before you would at least have a curved one with the one curve it would be difficult for you to do this one so at least we start with the curved ones that are a little bit curved not too, too curved okay so look at that one as we are still looking at that one we may get this one also so first of all you would first wait for these images to load eh? then after them loading yes this one has given me an opportunity download it as an image so 
this then I save it name it for if I continue here we have something like this so this one is too simple so we shall be I'm downloading these images for us to try several of them so that you get the idea okay so you get the different ideas that we may happen to use okay as we like decorate or design these business cards so that you can be able to design any business card that you happen to meet so let us also get one that has curved curved stuff This one can't can't like download because in in Illustrator, if at all we are not on internet, we cannot open up a web image in our software. So let us start with uh, simple steps first. Oh, not even simple, but possible things that won't need us to use. A, a software in another software in another software so <laughs> it's a little bit funny but okay there's also this cool design here okay so we are going to stop with these two then we continue to the next step in order not to make this something that is basically too long So this one also we need to use this. Okay. So there are a lot of interesting designs that would grasp your attention and you're like, let me get this one, let me get this one. So there are a lot of designs that I would want us to look at so that like when you happen to meet a business card, you're not challenged. You're able to like, okay, to come up with a design that may cover it up and So let us stop uh, naming. I'm not going to name because it is like taking some time. Let me just download them and we are going to just be going through them. A little bit at a higher speed but i hope we shall understand okay then so as we wait for this one to down to like um show up then let us try to see these ones that we opened up save us So we are going to be trying these different images.
Okay, this one is similar to some of those designs that we already have. And this one is also similar to some of those designs that we already have. So we keep it <coughs> sorry. So we keep it at that. Then in the next video I've showed you how to like outsource these different business cards. So you can also visit other platforms like Facebook groups that have different business card images. You can also visit Pinterest. Pinterest, then you like try to Google. Okay. So if 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 like I try to go there. Pinterest.com. So you try to like visit different platforms that you can get access to. Then after visiting them, try to like Google about what you are looking for. If it is interior basically designing, look at that. If it is just looking at some of the images they are basically having, look at that. Okay. So try to like visit your create an account, then you search for some business cards that happen to be there okay then you source out some inspiration that you can basically now use okay to like come up with different designs that may attract your clients or customers thank you for watching let us continue to the next video as we get introduced to the software as we also get introduced to new things about the business cards that we want to design and this is Munya Scripts from Munya Scripts Lifestyle and Gary Films Production. Remember, I'm a musician, I'm a videographer, I'm a director. So if at all you have a movie, if at all you have any design that you would want to be designed for you, or if at all you want to be taught graphics designing, endeavor to see that you contact me on the numbers that you happen to see below this video and the email. Okay, both of them are on WhatsApp, so we can talk via WhatsApp and Please remember to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Then you click on that bell button to always do not miss out on any video that we happen to upload. Thank you for watching. I love you, my people.